Hello and welcome to another review of 66mm Cameron Rider. Uh, these are my friends again. Uh, I reviewed Double at some point. That was from Wave 2. These are Wave 2 as well. These are the other ones that he got. But he, uh, he managed to get the uh, Dark Kabuto version and not this version. So we're we'll looking at that. Uh, so here's Deno and Kabuto, but Dark Kabuto inside. There was a hidden bonus thing that um, they didn't showcase. I'm um, also at his warehouse right now, so I might film all the toys that him and his friends have uh, collected. So, Capital kicking on the side, obviously not kicking as high as he should do. Uh, my friend does have Sengatsu somewhere back home, so I'll film that next time, next move to the next wave, I guess. Which has Agito in it, and uh, Kamen Rider 3, and uh, the rider in it was oh, Chaser, and I can't remember what the other one is. So, uh, yeah, this wave had uh, Double, Kabuto, and Zangatsu, and Deno. Next we have the latest wave, which is uh, Axel, Kuga, my favorite rider, Shadow Moon, also an awesome figure, and Muck. Quick look on the side, they have a pretty nice display there for the four figures. And on the back, showcasing all the different uh, poses that they have. Uh, these were bought from a toy store, and not Okashi Land or Candy Toy Store. So it doesn't have the candy toys, the candy sticker on it because there's no, well, there's no candy inside. It's been removed. Uh, these things are sold from uh, other stores. Most interesting here is uh, Axel does have his bike mo, not even any figure outside that. So we will check that out. So uh, let's take a look at Kabuto right here. Zoom in. Come on, focus. I'm also not using my uh, using my work camera actually. Can I zoom in even more? Yes, I can. This is one plus using this camera. Uh, this capital, of course, the compound eye effect is pretty neat. This is wave two, so just like wave one, the articulation is still very limited compared to the later releases. Uh, also, the paint job here. Um, obviously, the most important paint job here is the yellow eyes because it's going to be hard to turn the blue eyes into yellow. And also the chest pattern, which uh, we paint for anyone to paint. So those are the most important details on this figure. Silver is also printed all over the figure and the yellow dot on his helmet. But apart from that, a lot of other details are missing, especially the sector is, well, not painted at all. Being a rider, one would think that the belt is kind of important. Uh, he does have the same pointy hands. Her mother once said, I'll walk the path of the heavens. So he would do that. Even though he never, Dark Capital never does that, but you know, this is just a cheap rep repaint of the normal figure, so he has that hand as well. That's a fist right here, and also he has another fist for the other side and a reacts hand. So I can't get him to stand properly. Yeah, problems with the other figures, they are not too good. His legs are a bit weird. Um, I think his legs are a bit weird to him to do the kick thing, but um, I can't get him to stand properly. <sighs> so he would just lean forward like a zombie. We have Deno, which um, he has two open hands and oops. He has two open hands and two fists. And of course his uh, Deno sword and this really crappy stand as well. Quick look at the sword, it is uh, the mold details are actually pretty nice and it only has red painted on it. So if you do want to paint it yourself, you can actually do quite a lot with it. I'll just sword no. Oh, I can actually stand it, that's good. So here's Deno. Deno looks pretty good. Uh, belt painted, lots of silver, lots of white paint everywhere. Uh, no paint on the back, unfortunately. The back helmet is painted. But seriously, these only two figures can't really stiff. Uh, articulation, by the way, is ball joint for the head. Uh, there is one ball joint for the uh, stomach. Again, it's really tight. And this little click thing going on, that's really annoying. Uh, ball joint on the shoulder, uh, swivel on the elbow, just a standard peg for the hand, which doesn't pick up way in. Uh, actually my friend Ichigo had a problem where I had to uh, drill a hole in the arm to make sure the hole was big enough for the hand to plug in. And yeah, the legs here are really stiff. So ball peg for the upper leg, one simple joint for the uh, knee, and a ball joint for the foot. Again, the details here are pretty nice for what it is. Again, if you like painting your figures, you have a lot. You have more fun here. For those, for the rest of us, rest of you out there, uh, paint is um, 
not gonna paint these. They still look good enough, especially because they have good compound eyes. But um, as soon as it's done, I'll place it aside. Okay, now let's look at the uh, new wave. Let's start with Mark. He has uh, two extra. Oh, come on, focus. He has two extra fists here. And of course, this is one of the newer figures, so he has the good stages. Right there. Uh, in fact, the stage, uh, the bottom part of the stage is the same as the previous waves, where you can plug the hands in there. But the uh, actually slightly different. Um, plug the hands in there. Also, have the better arm up there. Uh, he has a scarf right here, which um, plugs in, but it's always facing out. So, that can be an issue for some people. It doesn't come down, which is annoying. He also has this little gun. I do have to say, though, bootleggers out there, if you're going to make bootleg Lego from Kamen Rider, use these guys, because they have good sized weapons. Lego figures can definitely hold these. So that's good. They're also slightly uh, chibi which fits the cute style of Lego. Uh, for molding wise, uh, yeah, he looks pretty good. Um, again, lots of details there. And that's a bust. And uh, his uh, top visor thing can open, just like in the show. Uh, the tire cannot spin uh, or detach, I believe, so he can't do any tire co-cons. Uh, paint is average. Uh, and like I said, this stands so much better, so I just plugged him in there. No paint on the back. Hands are tired, it's shivering. Uh, yeah, shoulder pads are their own piece that just plug in there. Uh, there's a ball joint up there. Uh, swivel at the top there, the new joint on these figures. So that's good. Swivel up there, that's really, really good. It gives it a lot more movement. And yeah, good stage. So just hang in there, Mark. Next we have Shadow Moon, also uses a white stage. Uh, Shadow Moon has two fists there and two open hands for holding his swords. I'm going to plug them in here. He has two swords. He has the Satan Saber and the other, I forgot what the name of the other one is. Both of these are only painted red. There's no gold on the handle here and there's no silver on the handle here. Uh, whether this is a long or short one, who knows, but he only has one and not two. Uh, Shadow Moon has a really big problem. The little uh, spikes on the back of his arm uh, doesn't want to stay on. You see the sword is really loose. What the hell? Maybe, maybe you should hold this sword here. And this sword on this. Oh, there goes his hands flying. You know, at the end of the day, these things are still very fidgety. Yeah, this sword will definitely fall out at some point. So I'm not going to bother trying to fix that peg back in. The biggest problem with that peg is um, if you want to glue it down, you don't even want to do that either because um, it's actually where the joint of the arm is. So if you glue too much, you might get the arm stuck. So what you want to do is, actually here, is you're going to peg it in. You've got to really get your fingernails and just really push it in and hope it doesn't fall out again. With the saw, you need to turn it just enough on the hand so the handle kind of grips it. So you need the sword to grip the hand and not the hand to grip the sword. Uh, one good thing about Shadow Moon is his silver goes all the way down the back, so he's almost painted on the back. That's just his basic armor. Uh, detail on him is not too much. He is Shadow Moon, he's still cool and all, but um, yeah, the overall detail just seems a bit lacking. He does have full silver on his body, so at least there's that. Next we have Cougar. Cougar has two fist hands and two open hands. No, oh, there goes Shadow Moon. Just going to focus. Yep, two fist hands. Oh, wrong hand. Those are Shadow Tail's hands. No, no, those are Mark's hands. So there's Cougar, my personal favorite because he's my favorite rider, and I think uh, this one actually came out okay. There's a hidden version of this. This is the hidden version. You can see it's uh, Rising Mighty, not just Normal Mighty. Uh, Normal Mighty has nothing on the legs there, but apart from that, the mold is completely the same. So actually, they did actually put some extra molding for the two versions of the figure. Just a little bit different. However, you can see that Rising, Rising Mighty, they didn't change the shape of the belt buckle. So it's still the normal silver type. Actually, you can see them painless using my friend's version here. 
I did pick up Cougar myself, and I also got uh, Rising Mighty, because Cougar's my favorite rider, so I just, I, the temptation was too much, so I just picked him up on his own. And, of course, with all my own figures, I would paint them. So here's my painted Kamen Rider Cougar. I pretty much added all the red dots where it should be, painted the, the gold on the joints, painted, most of my time spent painting the little belt buckle. And also painted the belt all the way on the end, on the back, and also the uh, hand colouring there. I painted that as well. So that's that's my painted cougar. By the way, at the bottom of the shoes there is this where the kick logos down there. So that's a nice little attention detail for such a you know cheapy, small, cutesy figure. Speaking of uh, paint jobs, I'll just stick my cougar right there. Uh, I also finally painted my copy of Double, which was given to me by my friend. And uh, I painted again the belt, the good old guy memories on there. Um, painted all the purple bits on this side, the leg and the arm. Added the black lining, the black lining through the middle of the body. Painted the rest of the belt on the back, and again also added the black uh, lining on the middle of the body. And of his other two uh, guy memory holding hands, I did paint the uh, guy memories on them. And just get the hand out. As you can see, I just painted the uh, silver. Oh. The silver and gold tips on these hands. Finally, we have Comrade Axel. Um, it's great. He does have his bike mode, we'll look at that in a sec. You can see a lot of nice little details here on here. I think he looks pretty good. Um, also, yep, they actually added a little bit extra there for his head to move back a little bit for his bike mode. He also has his uh, Axel blade. Right there, lots of detail going on here. I really like the look of his sword. Um, I think it looked look really great when he painted. I might need to get Axel. <laughs> He's so cool. Um, and he's got two open, he's got two relaxed hands here, or sword, slash sword holding hands. He also has a, a two sort of more uh, fist-like open hands for him to be in the bike mode. So, so there's Axel in bike mode. You also get this piece here, just put underneath him to support him. So what you do is you take the two wheels on outside of his legs, unplug them, and plug them inside the bottom of his leg, attach this bit to his butt, Attach this back, add this back plastic to his where his belt is. Uh, oh, you want to put the handlebar here on his back, move his head up. And this piece in here, which is the most complicated part, is um, let me just take this back out. Um, what you do is you take the back back thing off him, unplug this bit in this two holes in, the, in his chest, plug those in. Take his axle driver, plug it in this piece. This you know this piece on the plugs on his back. You just you know, stick that in, so it can do you know you actually turn. So that's good. Uh, and his hands are sort of holding his axle driver, sort of can, kind of, they don't really go inside too much, but uh, sort of does that, so put him down, uh, I think I'm too, oh, I'm going to push him down a little bit, uh, putting, turning him into this mode is not that fun, he has a tendency of just completely falling apart when you try and do that. But once he is done, it's okay. Now we just need uh, now she's go from Forze uh, to ride him and a little slipper for his angry wife and yeah so we can sort of just oh, and there he goes. So with the uh, older wave, uh, I don't have any any really any problems with a uh, double. I don't know what my friends done, but um, yeah, Kabuto and Deno really can't stand too well, and they're just sort of annoying, especially on the legs. Um, the rest of them are just okay, but um, after messing around with the newer waves of 66mm, uh, the old joints just don't really cut it too much anymore. After the new wave, um, but you know, the details on the old ones are also slightly missing on Dark Carpeto, and then it seems okay. On the new wave, um, Shadow Moon is probably the most annoying one. At first glance, he's okay. If you're not part of those extra bits on the back of his arms, he's okay. He can, Actually, hold his weapons, the stands okay, and 
the amount of details he has, it's decent. However, if the back bothers you, try to glue it down, but make sure you don't glue the joints as well, as his arms will be stuck. And the new joints on all the new figures is pretty good. Kuga, for me personally, is excellent. Whether you get Mighty or Rising Mighty, the detail is enough. Uh, just enough, any less than that, he will look pretty ugly. But the helmet is good, body's good, and because he doesn't come with too many things, uh, he might be seen as you know having less value. But um, 66 millimeter figures are not the best figures for too many things going on. Speaking of too many things, uh, Axo. Well, it's cute and a nice idea that Axo can turn into his bike form. Uh, all of his extra bits. Uh, what are you going to do with it when he's not? You got you have to make sure you have to keep a little Ziploc baggie or keep the box or else you will run the risk of losing his items. His little bits were nice to you know have a transformability. There's too much going on, it's a bit messy, a bit finicky, and just all around feels like it's an after afterthought. Like yeah it's nice it's there but execution isn't that good. The biggest problem with Axo is um, like I said all those parts you don't know where to put them if you if you one of those people just keeps the figure and not the box or if you need to keep the lot back. But his biggest problem is his open hands can't hold the sword. Uh, under certain positions the sword is just hanging there. If you move his hands at all the sword will fall off because he has no grip. And finally uh, with Mark, Mark is just average, I don't care for him too much but the more detail uh, is okay and the paint detail is just enough to be an okay figure. Subscribe to Justin Carp below and plus take care and have a nice day. Oh and one last thing to note with uh, Axel's little tire backpack, uh, he can't actually plug in the stand so Either we move the backpack or we move the stack. Yeah. So yeah, this is my friend. Um, he's rented this place with a lot of his other friends. Here's some of the toys. See, he's also collecting rock seeds, but he's um, come for the cheaper out there. You can see he's got the uh, candy toy version of the energy lock seeds. Also, also candy toy versions of. Um, see, that's a uh, oh, that's a uh, no, that's a DX mango, but candy pine. Candy candy, uh, and obviously the key here because probably can't hang that was as the candy version of Budo, etc. 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 Um, this is the uh, LED version of uh, Shocker. See, the sticker's pretty hard to see because it's got the light thing going on. Seems like the Gashapon of this version the lights pretty good. Oh, that's candy. Let's find another capsule version. See, okay, Capsule Kabuto. There's another red LED. What about this one? Okay, yellow LED. DK is normal. TV, normal. Oh, not this one. Normal. Hmm. Oh. There goes a carrot. Never mind. Fruit and veg, hey? I also collect a lot of these 7 Eleven Hello Kitty stuff. See right there, a lot of these miniature Dora Amon. If we carry on down this side, you see he's put all his uh, 66 Rider here. Got a little Ferris wheel, Robico, 7 Eleven Dora Amon. Old Jurassic Park dinosaur, these are glow in the dark dinosaurs. You can see the skin behind that that you can put over the skeleton. You know, teaching kids that hey, you can rip the skeleton off them. Ultraman 66. Oh, more toys there. And if I open this cupboard, there should be more. Oh, lots of books in there. Hmm, I'll be trying. I know, it should be this side. Oh, yeah. Some miniature door aim on food toys. Um, let's see, can you can see it, but um, there's a there should be some door aim on toast somewhere where each figure is each toast is printed. You can see all these food items are all printed, and yeah, lots of uh, other people collect other stuff there as well. Stitch, Alien, Kirby, lots of Totoro in the corner there. Pretty messy. Got this cute stuff there. An Iron Man one to one helmet. And a bunch of video game systems and a bunch of DVDs and 
games and such. 